Good morning, everybody. I thought I would take advantage of the fact that Ron is sleeping still. The dog is on the couch. Bandit's on the couch uh, snoring. So I can do this haul and not bother anybody. <laughs> so I hope you're having a good day so far. Um, it's like, it's only, well, it's only like 10 o'clock already, but... Um, I have stuff to do later. I'm so I'm trying to um sorry, I'm chewing this one for a minute. I was very thirsty. Uh I want we uh on Sunday we decided to venture out and uh go to a different um to try to find different places to, you know, look for stuff. And uh so we went to a Goodwill in Laporte, Indiana. That's the same town that I went to a uh, um, flea market about a month ago. And uh, our logic was, if you get away from our, you know, area here, although if you go to the bins, I mean, you can find all kinds of stuff. But as far as the Goodwills go... Sometimes it's, you know, it's just hit or miss. So anyway, we decided we would venture out and see what we could find. And I found a lot of stuff. So um, I will get started on the haul. And uh, today it's going to be 83 and then we're, and then fall's hitting. It's going to be in the 60s tomorrow. And that makes me sad. But it is what it is. So, let me get started here. Um, I think I'm going to show you one of my favorite things that I got was this squirrel. Look at this awesome, awesome squirrel. Look at his tail. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. I'm not going to sell him. Uh, he is for, uh, see, he's got a little bit of his stuff missing here. Uh, he is for a... For my fall decor, here. Um, we're I'm doing I'm in going to be in a uh, collab with some other people, so I'm gonna need my little squirrel here. And while I'm at it, I'll just show you these things that are already up here. I found this adorable little Christmas tin with all these little puppies on it. You know, I love my puppies. Yeah, look at that one. It kind of looks like my doggy bandit. Yeah. I thought that was cute. And then this thing, I have no idea what it is. First, I thought it was a napkin holder. But it has this hole here. And it has like a really little bottom. So I'm not sure what it is. I guess you could use it for that. I think you could hang it up by this thing. But anyway, it is a turkey, and it's really pretty the way it's, you know, engraved in there. So, I got that. And, and it fell down. And then I got this really pretty Christmas tin. And uh, it does have this on it. It's got it's messed up, but this is like cardboard. So you could soak this and get that off. Okay. This I bought for us to play on Thanksgiving. Tripoli, I'm going to tell everybody to save their pennies and bring them to the... wherever we're going to have our Thanksgiving dinner and uh, we'll play Tripoli. My parents used to play that game. Oh, and another one called Rummy Royal. I couldn't think of the name of it the other day. I also got this. I was so excited because it has the timer light and, you know, whatever. You can turn it on and off. And I'll be darned. I put new batteries in it and it doesn't work. So I don't know what, I don't know what could have went wrong with it, but I'll fix it. I'll just stick a regular candle, you know, another one in there. But yeah, I'm going to use this in my fall stuff as well. Let's see, what else did I get here? I got two, um, I've been really lucky in finding these uh, 
wax melts from uh what's the name of that expensive place that I oh Yankee Yankee candle and I got one that is uh Christmas cookie mm -hmm. and one that is uh miss mistletoe yeah mistletoe I think I got another mistletoe from someplace else so I was excited about those I also bought a box of tapers because I don't have any and sometimes I want to use use them just to show in candle holders and stuff but um and then I thought I might want to use them so I got those and uh I'll show you this candle as well I don't know if you've ever seen these but these are those woodwick wood wick candles they have burned it they just burnt the wick down on it and then they never used it but it smells amazing and it's got like this wooden wick and then when it's lit it kind of crackles like it's a fire and the scent of this is apple wood and it was a dollar 99 and i'm telling you what these things are really really expensive especially one this size so I, I jump right on that thing. All right. Now, I've got some room here. I bought this. I know it's not old. It has been used. But a lot of people I know seem to like Dr. Pepper. It is not my favorite, but I know a lot of people who do. And I thought that would be cute in somebody's kitchen or in... You know, if they have a bar, or I don't know, a lot of places. So I got this. And it's in really nice shape. Alrighty. Some of this stuff was so filthy. Uh, I mean, it was just gross. I'm going to have to go out and buy a bottle brush to get a couple of va a vase clean. This thing is gross. I'm going to even have, I'm going to replace the ribbon on it and everything. But it's a cow planter. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's hard to tell because of the dirt on it. But um, she seems to be in very nice shape. It's a she. All right. But I do think it was awful cute. Very cute for farm, you know, kitchens. Um, and then I got a an, a pig... I believe it's a toothpick holder because the hole is not very big. But you could put an air plant in it or something. I think I've already killed my air plants. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. It said not to water them too much. I guess I didn't water it enough. I don't I don't get it. And then I found this cool tiki mug. It's from uh, Trader Dick's. In the golden nugget. And. Um, I think I stayed at the golden nugget one time. I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Uh, I thought this was really cool. Oh, I know people collect tiki mugs. I haven't been able to find a lot of them. but I, So I was excited to find that one. And then I got this pair of mugs. For Christmas, they're Christmas mugs, and on the bottom, it looks like that. Um, they're like a popular um, company that makes all kinds of mugs, but um, I was just going to sell these as a pair, so that you could, you know, use them together. I think that would be cool. Alrighty then. And I found, I've been getting luckier about finding swans. I found this absolutely gorgeous swan. And it's made by the Royal Heritage Company. And it's from Taiwan. So it is vintage. And I just thought it was very, very pretty. I don't see anything wrong with it. But 
I also found a Ser a Sereno. Um, I said it was either a, a humidor, a vase, rose bowl. They listed it as various things. And I'm not kidding you. I don't think they wrapped nothing. That was the only negative thing. When I go back, I'm going to tell them to wrap it. If they don't, if they say they don't paper or something, something, I'm going to told, tell them to hold on. I'm going to go out. I'm going to bring paper with me and I'm going to wrap everything. Because I, I, oh yeah, I, I didn't even write this one down. I got a picture and it is a plaster frame. And it is the coolest picture inside of it. Well, there was nothing wrong with it when I got it. And when I was putting it in the car, I heard like a clink. And I mean, it broke evenly, so I'm going to glue it. I, you won't even be able to tell that it was broken, I don't think. But it's just the point that, you know, you're buying stuff. You want to get it home in one piece, so... Anyway, this has one little, like, small chip right here. And I did not notice it when I bought it, so I, I'm guessing it might have happened on the way home. But, I mean, other than that, it's in great shape, and it's really pretty. It would be nice for St. Patrick's Day or Christmas, or in the fall. You could put, you know, like, fall leaves and stuff in it. I think that would be really nice. The remote for my TV is over there. I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> Then I got this, and it's a Hudson River inlay eagle picture, and it's all inlaid woods, and it's signed by Nelson. He, I forget his first name. He makes a bunch of this stuff, and um, it's in beautiful, beautiful shape. I, I just think it's so pretty. I was shocked to see that. Um, I got the a little a little uh, box of Christmas ornaments from Homco. One of them is missing. There was three of them, but they're all like little houses. And uh, they were made in Taiwan. I, I know they're from quite a few years ago, but I thought those were cute. I'm still picking up Christmas for my uh, Christmas sale um i bought four of these and they're little i think like a little butter you know you melt butter in it and uh you could use it like to pour in in uh, recipes or you could dip your lobster in it yeah and so i got those i thought they were very cute i had never saw little ones like this before oh uh, what else I only found one of this little guy. It is a pepper shaker, but it's in really, really nice shape. And it's from Japan, got the cork. So, yeah. You know, we you know, we all like our even if it's a single, if it's something we like, we'll we'll, we'll be happy with it. And then I found this uh ashtray from Oklahoma and uh I thought it was really cool. It's got all kinds of symbols from Oklahoma. And this was made in Japan. I got these. I thought I paid half of what I did pay for them because they left the price on it from a yard sale. But these are really cool. Um, and I know they're older uh, coasters. And they're, you know, they're all like farm animals. So I thought if you had a farm kitchen... That would be really neat to have these. And I got this cutting board. I'm guessing someone made it. I don't know. But it's a teddy bear. And these are nice cutting boards. They work really well. I made a pig. I finally... It was... I made it so many years ago that it was like, it's got to be at least... 53 or 54 years old so I finally put it on I hung it up on the wall because um but I view I've used it for years it's made of oak I just didn't want it to you know fall apart or anything because I I remember all the work it took to put in and we our teacher we had these uh old 
oak desks, the kind that had the wrought iron sides on them. They had ink wells in them and everything. And when they get, took them out and they put in regular desks, um, the teacher, they gave him all that scrap wood and everything. Well, da underneath the desk, on one side of the wood, was many years of gum. And on the top side was a lot of graffiti where kids had dug their name in and everything. So it took a lot of time to plane all that off and get all that so you couldn't see any, you know, it was all gone. And, uh, yeah, that was a lot of work. And then we learned to use a jigsaw and we cut it out and everything. So I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> um, I got this very pretty plate. To me, this just looks odd to me. I don't know. This is the time of year when all these, th you know, fruits come into season. And um, there's a little bluebird on there. A little bluebird of happiness. And uh, it's also an Avon plate. I don't know what year it is, though. It was made in England. You know, a lot of Avon stuff was very high quality because they always had good companies make their stuff. Oh, well, geez, Louise. 19... 70, 1976, the year my daughter Jenny was born. And it's in beautiful shape. The gold's, you know, real nice on it and everything. So I got that. I got this little music box. And I won't wind it up, but I, want, I think it plays. Uh, it plays. Um, but I got this, and I thought it was really cute. I thought that was very sweet. I bought this for myself. It's a mini little mantle clock, and it does work. It runs on a battery. I put a new battery in it, and it does work. It's an hour off because I didn't set the time on it, but, yeah. I wanted something like that, so. And this is a vase I bought, and this is what I was telling you. I have to go and buy a bottle brush. I cannot get this dirt out. I have to sneeze. My allergies are. But... The thing is, it was so, it, it was like this milky look. It was just gunky. And, but I loved the little vase. I thought it would be pretty at Christmas or St. Patrick's Day. Either one would be, it, it would be useful and pretty. And then I got me a Mr. Tom turkey. It's a stuffed turkey. This will, I will be selling. And I, I just thought it was. Really cute. I mean, sometimes it's cute to just have on a shelf or something. Or or whatnot. But it, it's really really a cute one. Um, let's see what else did I get here. I got this little Christmas ornament and uh it's got a sticker on it. It says made in Taiwan, I believe. But I thought that was real pretty. It's like ceramic. Or China, one or the other. Got a little bell on it. I got this wall pocket. And this is one of the things I'm telling you about. It does have a small chip right here. You can't see it. You know, if it was hanging on the wall, you wouldn't be able to see it. But that had no chips when I bought it. And uh, it was made in California. I just think it's a real pretty little one with the iris in it, on it. I love, I love wall pockets. I just love them. I got these cards to use as package toppers. It says animal spirits, knowledge cards. But what I liked about them was there's just such pretty pictures of animals. Like the monkey and... The fox. What does the fox say? Doo -doo 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 -doo. And, uh, this is a kingfisher. Probably have it upside down. Yeah. But anyway, they're all, you know, different animals. And I just think it's, and birds, I think it's really cool. 
Um, I got, speaking of owls, I got this darling little owl ornament. And I think this is the last thing I got. And it is a, um, it needs to be cleaned up desperately. But it's a, a metal silver look box. And um, this one isn't hinged, which they usually are. But it's deep blue velvet on the inside. And I like that texture. It almost looks like it's blue uh, on the underneath the overlay. I think that's really beautiful. And I kind I like it kind of because it's not hinged. I, I think that's kind of neat because it's not. So that is all I got at the Laporte, Indiana Goodwill, and uh, you will be seeing some of this stuff in my sale on Friday. Some of it I'm saving for the Christmas sale, of course. And uh, don't forget my sale is at 6 o'clock Eastern on Fridays. And uh, I will see you there. Be sure that you wash your hands or use hand sanitizer and wear your masks. They are harping on it on TV constantly about wearing the mask. So let's all do that and be safe. Love you guys. Bye.